Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here, we're back with My Hero, Chapter 394, really quick. If you could like the video for me, please, I greatly appreciate it. Now, I was just talking to Tink in the Discord. Um, this arc, this little, like, Toga and um, Ochiko focus has been really good, really good so far. I know one, two, three chapters back, either two or three chapters back. I, um, I said that of all the fights that we are currently focusing on, this one, in terms of hypeness, is at the bottom. And I just literally, before I, right before I press record, I was saying that unless these two characters, Ochiko and Toga, are your favorite characters in the series, it's not going to compete against Deku versus Shigaraki or All for One versus All Might. It just won't compete as, in terms of hypeness. But writing wise, it has to be great for it to compare. And so far, it's been incredible. The writing has been good. The last chapter was incredible. And it's it's keeping itself in play because the writing's so good. And then you got Ochiko snapping off, so it's like we go from the Shoto stuff, and then that climaxes and that peaks, and then it dumps us into this. And you're like, uh, we gotta trudge through it, and it's carried the flow really good. So if it could pass it off to the next battlefield or something smoothly, did a good job. So um. Let's hop in. Let's see what 394 has in store for us. Let's hop into 394. I'm pulling it up for the first time. Let's go. Color page. Year 9, right? We're celebrating year 9. Okay. I'm trying to get a good look at everybody. I'm not trying to just like Lens my way through. Look at they got in. They actually are showing Invisible Girl. They're actually showing Invisible Girl. How come Shoto's the only boy without a green jacket? Yeah, All Might's in the back, not looking. He's got a cape though. He's wearing a cape though. Literally, Shoto's the only boy in this. And not, nah, no, I lied. Um, Koda, he doesn't. He has on a tan coat too. I was trying to make sure I seen everybody before I made that statement. And I still messed up. Like the girls are wearing like tan skirts, but only Shoto and Koda have on tan coats. More death flags. I remember we did this last year. With everyone wearing the the black, white, and red, and like, oh, if they're wearing black, they're gonna die. I remember we did that. Ta -da. I don't know why I'm not zooming in. I'm so stupid. Seeing everybody smile though, like even Bakugo has a smirk on his face. He's always got a smirk, but All Might's in the back looking away. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's go. Oh, 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 hold on. Zoom in. There's something weird about my zero gravity. All right. Ur Ochiko Uraraka versus Himiko Toga. What the? I don't get it myself. Bakugo's holding on four fingers and laughing at his color page. And look what happened to him. <laughs> now Deku's holding up four fingers. He's holding up five. He's holding up. He's he's signaling. He's signaling nine. The hand in front is the five. The five and the four. He's putting up nine. He's holding up nine fingers. <laughs> All right. Hold. Okay. Let me lock in. I don't get it myself, which makes sense, right? Which makes sense. She doesn't understand what's truly happening. Whole chains of us are floating. Oh, yeah? Well, what if I make a new double? Does the double float off, off rip or does the double drop to the ground? Nope, the double's floating. Same problem. Zoom in. It's just, it's just like me that other time. Like what happened when I when I almost was killed? Excuse me, Tiger Kamui Woods. 
Um, are you the real you? <laughs> With these wounds, a fake would have already melted away, right? But man, I thought the girl's max capacity was three tons. These kids, I swear. <laughs> They've come a hell of a long way since boot camp last year. My whole body is going cold. But what matters right now... Dude, she was stabbed in a really bad place. I said this last week. She's not okay. Is that I want to reach out and touch... That sorrow inside of me. Is Toga still going to fight back? She's still fighting back? Is she still fighting back? I don't know. Well, it's just the perfect song to come on. Perfect song to come on. All right. So she lost. Okay, she lost the gear. Come on, Ochiko. My family was poor, and my folks were always looking kind of gloomy. I set out to become a hero to make their lives easier and cheer them up. But as I grew, I learned that the world's full of other people, not just my parents and our home. They're having like this tug of war. And then I fell in love. Ooh, she, oh, she admitted it. Oh, that's probably why people don't like it. She actually admitted it. We knew she liked them. Oh, oh, oh. And then I fell in love with Izuku Midoriya, and now I'm trying to stop you. That's who I am. That's why I'm here right now. How? Okay. Um, if it works like Shiki Squirt, so that if zero gravity touches you, you float, and everything that touches you. Yeah, she can. She can. So her quirk is busted. This quirk ability, if it's anything touching someone that um so if she if she touches someone and then someone touches someone and then someone touches someone and then someone touches someone, then someone, touches someone they all float. They all float. So if um it, I feel like it works just like Shiggy. If something is touching, so, like, it, we'll, we'll, I think we'll see if she touches a table and someone else is touching the table, then that person will probably float too. It's just like Shiggy's. That's busted. That's literally busted. Shippers on Twitter saying that Hori is just trolling the fandom with that line. This isn't a moment of trolling, right? Remember when, remember when everyone said the same thing whenever, um, Class 1A was going against um, Deku trying to bring him back. And mistranslations had it seem like Mineta was confessing. But when you actually translated it correctly, it was like Mineta saying like, like saying what he said, how like he looked up to Midoriya and like how he cares a lot about Midoriya. And then what? A couple chapters later, like Mineta says something again and basically confirming it, like how much Deku means to him. And serious moments like these, Whenever a character says something, they're not joking. So when she says, I fell in love with Izuku, she 100% means that. She's she's on the brink of death. Her, she said her body's going cold, bro. She's not about, like, this isn't the time to be trolling. She's not trolling about this. Like, I feel like that's... The thing with Shonen, the thing with Shonen series and dealing with romance is usually they never do a good job. So the best thing to do then do romance is just not to really do it so what hori does is just make them friends they all go to school together and they're all friends there's no need to try to dive into the romance of everything they're kids so it's like they're all friends but it's clear that uh, that there is a pairing here but we'll have them be friends we'll have momo and shoto be friends but they're more friendly than with other people we'll have ochiko and izuku be friends and they do a little cute thing we'll have um nina and kirishima do things but they're a little closer than everyone else but they're still friends there's no need to cross that bound but the whole point which i don't understand about people and people saying that ochiko's whole identity is only for izuku when there's a moment in the series whenever she's dealing with the fact of she likes izuku 
And she's like, I can't let that become my focus. I need to push that aside and I need to work on me becoming a hero. And then for the next, I don't know, 100 chapters, there's the little embarrassing thing that happens whenever the girls talk about Deku and she starts blushing. But Deku's not her focus. Like, she's not just, oh, Deku this or oh, Deku that. If anything, like, Deku wouldn't be where he is if not for her. On more than one occasion. She's the one that stopped him when Black Whip went out of control. She's the one that brought him back to UA when he tried to leave. Like, she, like, her character is solid. She is a really good character, and she's not just, oh, for Deku. Like, get out of here. Ugh. It's so stupid. Like, this isn't a moment to be trolling with with romance like she's on the brink of death she's literally on the brink of death she's not trolling she meant what she said goodness gracious <sighs> so stupid so dumb all right let's lock in let's lock in all right that's why i am that's why i'm here right now next zoom in zoom in zoom in so they're throwing. I'm so scared that something bad's gonna happen to her. They're throwing down. So tell me your thoughts and feelings. Oh no! Oh wow! So, so tell me what's on your mind. Your thoughts and feelings, all of it. She's so. Oh my gosh! It's the beginning of the series. It's the bird when she was a kid. All the stuff that happened, like attacking attacking that boy at school. This is the boy that she attacked. You got him dying in her arms. This is whenever she was looking at the vial of blood when it was revealed to us that she had twice his blood. This is when we found out she was impersonating Kami. This is when she saved twice, like she... Um, covered him up, covered him up overall. The Shia Sakai, like infiltration. Whoa. That just. Mm. Ah, that's that that's disgusting to me. That's disgusting. To me. I actually like made my inside do something. I'm scared. I'm scared. I said last week, I said this last week, like, man, this is such a great moment. Like, we're not going to, like, get this taken away from us. Right. And this is the same panel from last week. It was little, it was little Toga all the way up. Like how the frame was. Little Toga was all the way up on the left corner with with Ochiko doing that. And now it's been like shifted. And now Ochiko's on the right side. And she's like this monstro. Uh, I don't like it. I don't. I can't keep looking at it. I actually don't like that. <laughs> it's actually bothering me. All right. I. Oh, she's saying he, she's talking. She's talking. Oh wow. I was nervous that she was gonna stab her. Oh, she's talking. I fall, I fall in love really easily with animals, with villains, with heroes, with boys, with girls. After all, they've all got such amazing blood pumping through them. And she's like, mm-hmm. They'd tell me to stop grinning and I'd get so jealous. See, right now, what's, I'm just sitting here thinking, does to now I'm actually thinking with like Toga was trying to copy people, all the people she thought she loved and their abilities weren't working. And she was confused as to why. And when I'm listening to her, right, when she's like, I fall in love really easily with basically anything. Like if they have blood, she falls in love with them. And that's I don't think that's her falling in love. That's like her quirk. Her quirk makes her crave the blood. And because of the psychosis break that she went through as a child, she really doesn't know what love is. So we don't know who she really loves and who 
is just a a blood lusting, a blood thirsting. We don't know if it's her quirk quirk or if she loves them. And I feel like maybe it's like maybe maybe there are individuals. Maybe she did love Ochiko, and that's why she was able to like break through that one time. Or just I don't know. I, that, that's my guess. Like right, that's my guess. All right, they tell me to stop grinning, and I'd get so jealous. She's like, mm hmm. Izuku reminds me of a boy I used to like. Weird thought, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone with a dog, mate with a dog. I don't know. Izuku reminds me of a boy I used to like. It depends on what their reproductive organ is. That I think that's what it depends. His name was Saito. But it's not like I could just ask him for his blood. Because, like... Then he'd call me a freak or something. Look at them as little babies twirling through the air. Then he'd think I was definitely not cute at all. Hold on, wait a second. Just like you and Izuku. They'd all scold and lecture me on the right way to be. That's why I joined the League of Villains. Because with them, I could live and love how I needed to. Don't stab her. Please don't. Uh, don't stab her. What is what was the shirt? I'm I'm sometimes Tuesday. <laughs> Hold on, I'm zooming in. I'm not even looking at the left side. And close my eye. I'm not even looking over there. The signs were always there from you, but it took me so long to notice. I'm just like on pins and needles because. Time's up. Oh, Jen's blood's done. <sighs> Jen's blood is used up. Jen is fading away. So all the doubles are, are they're all gooping away, or is it, they just turn into mist. Uraraka. Next page. I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in. Okay. Well. The thing is, I think there's something real amazing about someone who's all ragged, but trying their darnness anyway. So maybe I'm no replacement for the league, but I want you to know how special I think your smile is. Hi, he's a go to go. I love you, but am I? Am I cute? Oh. The cutest in the whole world. I something in my soul. Okay. She did it. She did it. Ochiko did it. They need to run those our titans falling from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say something and I'm uh, hold on. I'm about to say something. And I'm I'm really I I got to think about this for a second. After all, everything I've said about this little arc. I'm gonna say it. Ochigo has the most impressive feat in this last big battle. Since All for One showed up trying to get trying to get um Aoyama and we did the Troy thing and tele teleported everywhere. Everyone everywhere. She has the greatest feat so far. Out of all everything we've seen. I'm counting Dobby exploding and Shoto getting there, them turning into an ice jet and flying across Japan to get there. She had, like, stopping Toga in all of the Toga twice is running around. I, she has the most impressive feat so far. Because they were done. If, if Uraraka 
if Uraraka doesn't, if she does not stop Toga, Toga kills everybody. She, she, I, she, I think she succeeds in killing all of everyone else. Like she rampages everything. If we need to look, what was that? Three ninety two. I want to look at one of these big. Where is it? It's the three ninety three. Like if we look at this. Like, look at this. I'm going to put it full screen for a second. Like, look at that. Like, this was going to wreak havoc. This was going to wreak havoc on everyone. Like, if she doesn't stop this girl, it's curtains. Like, everything that everyone was afraid about twice doing and running around and going unchecked. Quite literally, that's what was going to happen. Her stopping Toga, and, and to be fair, she might have been the only one that could have done it. Crazy enough, she might have been the only one that could have done it. Granted, you could probably just go nuclear and just start blowing all the toga twice as up, but that's going in for the kill. She got this girl to really stop. Now my question is, what the hell is going to happen with toga? We going to put her in jail? We going to let her go? What's going to happen? You know me. I still think Aoyama should be in jail, so there's no way I don't think toga should be in jail. Um, there's no, right? There's no way I think toga shouldn't be in jail. I think Aoyama needs to take his ass back to jail once this once this fight's over. So she definitely needs to go. But what I think they're going to do and what's actually going to happen are two different things. Do we lock her up? Does she get away? I don't know. Oh, um, 1,000%. She's going to... I feel like she's going to... She ha She definitely has to help Uraraka. She's... Urura as Uraraka sits here floating in the sky with Toga, she would die if she got no medical attention. She would die. But with... See, this is the whole thing. If she didn't run out of Twice's quirk, she could have made a copy of Uraraka and then... and then did a transfusion from Uraraka to to Uraraka <laughs> from the clone to Uraraka or from the, the double to Uraraka but I don't know you think she's gonna die doing a blood transfusion at Uraraka she needs to use her own blood by transforming into her is that how that works I know that's how twice has worked but the, is that how that works if she turns into you does she bleed the like she has the same blood as you I didn't know that's how I I thought that's how twice as doubles worked. Like if she made if she made a double of Uru because that's what he did for Toga. Whenever Toga got um beat up during MVA. He made a double of Toga. I remember I only I only remember that because Hori had made a mistake and he was saying like he made a mistake with the twice as having to measure Toga again. Not remember like he kinda he forgot that the twice as already measured Toga at the beginning of the arc and he put it in again and then people like this is what readers are just like he made a mistake he had to like apologize like two or three different times and um he f they fixed it in the print the print copy because he he forgot that he had the twice as are like twice already measured her so i was the only only reason why i remember that is because of the controversy and then they fixed it in the anime um so I don't know. I don't know how her Toga's copy thing works. I know she needs blood to cop turn into you. But I don't know if then her genetic makeup is is the person she copied. Oh, what's up, Lass? I hope the jail system cannot be bonding up someone, you know, better care. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. We're in a sticky situation because Uraraka needs immediate medical attention. And where is she going to get it from? Overhaul? Where is Overhaul? We don't know where he is. We have no idea where Overhaul is. Can't Overhaul just fix his own arms? No, he can't because his arms are gone. They're already gone. Right? Volume 40 is so probably. Volume 40 is probably the end, so 16 chapters. How many how, how many chapters was this? This whole thing? 390. I told you three chapters. I told you I was like, we could do tr three chapters for each of the things that were going on. And the Shoto and Dobby finale was four, I think, or three and a half. And then counting this one, if you want to count this last page. That one, three chapters. So we we didn't we're 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 chugging through. I was like, we could do it two or three chapters could wrap up these fights. And sure enough, three chapters, boom, we're moving on. So where do we go next? That's my question. That is my question. Where do we go next? What is the next thing? Dobby and um Toga was both four chapters. Right? Three ninety one. Oh, this is 394. I have to count 394. My bad. So 391 and to 394. I didn't count 394. So four, four for each. That works. That works. I had said three. I said three. I was close. I was close. Four for each. So where do we go next? That's my thing. Because we're wrapping up Battlefield. What battlefields are left? What important battlefields are left? Honestly, there's a battlefield or two. I, if we never went back to, I wouldn't give it. I would not give a damn. <laughs> like the smaller battlefields, I really wouldn't care. Would it suck? Sure, but I, in the grand scheme of things, I really wouldn't care. But um, how many battlefields do we have yet? Like for real, for real. I don't remember. Because the battlefield, the battlefields have been moving. Right, they've been they've been moving. Wartman battle. So we have the Kuro Kurogiri. The Aoyama battle. What's the Aoyama battle? I don't remember. The Ciro battle. What's the Ciro battle? I don't remember that either. Oh, so who was fighting who was fighting this guy? Who was fighting this guy? Yeah, I think you know who I'm talking about. I don't remember his name. They set it up and we haven't been back there yet. Um where's my my hero folder? It's right here. This guy. Hold on. I definitely saved the picture of him. Three. Seventy-three, three seventy-seven. Icons are too small. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> I need to make them bigger. Okay. Um. Here we go. This is all for one. Dude, I thought I saved the picture of this guy. Where is he? He like showed up at the end of a chapter. No, that's not it. Ghastly, is that his name? Is that the guy I'm thinking of? I think it is. It is. Yeah, it is this guy. 
I was thinking of a Kun, Kunita. That was his name. Kunita. We, have, we haven't been back there yet. What chapter was this? I thought I had a picture of him, but I don't. Three, 353? 353. Yeah, it's right in here. I didn't say... I didn't save anything from 353. I'm a Muppet. 352. So 350, 51, 52, 52, 54. Dang it. <laughs> Crap. Unless I renamed it something else. I named it wrong. No, I didn't save a picture. I thought I had a picture. Thought I had a picture. Alright, um... I, I, there's, okay, so we have... Da -da -ba -da -ba, we have Aoyama and Ghastly. We have the Cero battle. Portman battle. I think, I feel like the, um, they were happy... Um, they were happy they had to go against Dobby instead of Canadian Gasly. I think they need to be strong. Yeah, I, I want to say they were people that Deku put away, right? If I'm guessing correctly. I remember correctly. There's people we didn't see Deku fight. Um... I think we have more time than what we're thinking, though. There's a, I'm remembering the quote in my head. They said, "Volume." They said, "Volume 40, right? F volume 40 would be the climax." They didn't say it'd be the end, though. It'd be like the climax of like the final battle. You have to think about shonen. The climax of a battle is never the end of it. It's always the climax, and then it goes on for like another volume after that. <laughs> It always does. All these newer shonen series always have these dumb convoluted endings that don't know how to end. I think the I think um Kuro Giri is going to end up on All for One's battlefield or Shigaraki's battlefield. Because I think, I think a lot of these battles might end up getting consolidated to one area. I do. I think they might end up consolidated to one area. Because we need a moment. We need the Kurogiri moment. We've been building up for the Kurogiri moment for a while now. We need the moment of him choosing a side when, in the, when having Shigaraki or Deku or... Uh, Aizawa or President Mike in his face. Like, which one is he going to pick? Right now, he chose Shigaraki because of his programming. But what would he do if, like, the stimulation of his previous life and Shigaraki were both in front of him at the same exact time? What does he do? You were both Mike and Aizawa somewhere, yeah. So it's like we don't. It's like we don't. We don't know how this is going to go. I feel like he's gonna. He's gonna. Be the Obito. He's gonna be the Obito in, in this final battle. Where you, Obito show like he, he he's on one side and then he's on another side, even though Obito should have been dead. But he's like he has a fight with someone, and then help, ends up helping out the other side. It's gonna be something like that. I feel it, serving the same exact pur purpose, as far as like the teleportation and whatnot. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really glad how this ended. So good. Toga arc ended. Really glad. Cause it could have it could have turned really bad. Could have turned really bad. But I'm glad it turned out straight.
there's still there's still a bunch to do but when you think about it it's not a ton like i don't think it's impossible for all everything that's left to be covered proficiently i don't think it's i don't think there's i don't think it's impossible Uh, would have would have loved it. Same with Dobby's fight, if it was a bit more fighting. Yeah, but we had we we got the fighting part of Dobby's fight. That's the whole thing. We split it in half, part one and part two. So it was kind of like it was like we got the fighting part twenty chapters ago, and now was like Dobby becoming like a cataclysmic event. And stopping him from that, from doing that. It was like, it was like, try. it's like, now it's like we're trying to stop all the villains from being desperate. Because that, I, wow, I just, I just thought about that. When we first started this battle, the villains were fighting with the upper hand. Like, think of all for one. You were scrapping with Hawks and, and Endeavor. Just like throwing down. Same thing with um, Shoto and Dobby. All these fights, and we were going head to head, and we were fighting. And now, like in the part two of all of these fights, it's the villains are desperate. Like Toga popped, popped this and started going crazy in desperation and was stopped. Dobby started to implode. I don't want to say Dobby was desperate. He just wants to kill everybody. But you could look at it as like a de it's like a le like this is my last stand. This is what I'm gonna do to take everyone out. And he was stopped. All for one is now running out of time. He's desperate to get to Shigaraki. He's going. Only one that's not really desperate right now is Shiggy. He just he's like I'm new again. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> he's so it's like everyone's in like desperation mode. Like part one, like Ochiko and Toga threw down on the island. Did we get to see it really? Not really. But they threw down. Shota and Dobby threw down. Um, everyone threw down. Like, Deku and Chiggy have been throwing down. So, it's like, now it's like, final act. Final stage. We need, like, everyone's getting desperate now. And we need to try to stop them before they succeed in their desperation. Like, their final desperation. And so far, we're, we're two for two? Right now, All Might's trying to stop all for one. So right now we're two for two. Shoto stopped Dobby and Ochiko stopped Toga. Ah, we're not. We're not two for two. We're 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 one for three because um Mike failed in stopping um Spinner from activating Curl Gary. I have to say that. Alright, I arranged the chapters with episodes. And my way of doing this, a cha this chapter is the end of episode 22. Yeah, we got like four episodes left. Four episodes left. We got like four episodes left. What I think they're going to do. Because they announced that the season is in um, production at least. Before I release any trailer, before I do it. I would see when the manga is ending. Because when, because if the manga, this is this is the thing where, depending on how many more chapters are left in the manga, we can guesstimate, but we don't know concrete. Guessing how many episodes, how many chapters are left, you can, you can end the series guessing next season for the anime but we won't know that for sure and at least probably until october october is probably when we will know if the series ends by the end of the year or if it carries over into 2024 it's my guess by october because right now uh, we're at the end of july you have august i was gonna say september but i was like no october would be a safer bet um, you have October where we would know for sure. We'd be like, 
they because I, I think if there's if there's less than 20 chapters left you have four chapters in august if there's no break you have four chapters in september by october they will have they would have to release like my hero's ending in 10 chapters or my hero's ending in five chapters something like that they'll have to note the, note everybody if we're, if we are that close so i feel like by by the end of next month we'll probably know if if the series is ending so that maybe august september especially for how big my hero is they wouldn't pull they wouldn't pull like oh the series is ending right now they wouldn't be like that's oh, the last chapter they wouldn't do that they would build it up i don't want to see it either i don't want to see it but that's the they would give i think they would do 10 chapters five is way too short five would be crazy i think they'd be like my hero ending ending in 10 chapters you know what they might do five they might do five they might do five maybe 15 if they do 15 they're gonna put that message next week right that message will be coming out next week or the week after no like if we're guessing we have less than 20 chapters that message is coming in the next week or two something crazy like that i might throw up if i see that message in the next week or two literally i might throw up <laughs> my legit i might legit get physically sick if i see that message ah uh, i don't want to see it I don't know what they would do. I don't know what the anime is going to do. I'd wait. I'd wait longer. I wouldn't put it. I don't want to do a season next year. Because fall 2024 is when next season should come out. Like, that's how it's always been. Yeah, who are you saying he wants to do a horror manga? That's the whole thing. I feel I, I, I said this. How long ago did I say this? Like my like my hero is the the kid friendly one out of all out of the the newer series. It's the most mainstream kid friendly series. So he I think he's kind of been hamstrung by that. I feel like he's kind of been hamstrung by it. So it's the one that's like, ooh, it's superheroes. Right? It's hard to it's hard to break that, especially if that's how they promote you. So I feel like he might feel like he can't do the things he wants to do, especially knowing what his inspirations are and knowing the series that he likes. He might not be able to do those things with my hero because jump won't let him. There's so many things that he could do that if he were somewhere else, maybe he would do, but I don't think they'd let him. I don't think he, they'd let him. Like, we all know, like, some of the kids are supposed to have been dead. Been gone. Can't kill no kid. <laughs> MHA should put him in a horror manga. I like the idea. I like the idea of all for one becoming a vestige and slowly polluting him. Like having all for one being like a hidden vestige somewhere that some sometimes takes over and locks the other vestiges out. But no but they can't figure out what it is or why. And Deku slowly like battling with his sense of justice and just spiraling out of control a little bit. Ultimately ending in him coming like prevailing and whatnot. I would like. I would hope. I wouldn't want him to go too dark, cause that I, that would hurt my soul. I don't want that for Deku. But I would. I wouldn't mind that being a, a sequel series, like Deku struggling with his heroism, because there's some dark parasite inside of him just twisting his mind a little bit. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind it at all. I'm a little older, right? I would get them out of school. First of all, just get them out.
Just get him out of school. Have him, have one of them be a teacher or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Or have them do like, have them host kids or something. I don't know. Just learn from Naruto. Don't do what Naruto did. I think that's the blueprint. Naruto gave us the blueprint. If you have a series, right? So what, um, watch New Order still be alive and Shiggy. And Deku gets it and Shiggy absorbs all one and they both fight. That would be crazy. That would be insane. That would be crazy. Right? Don't do what Naruto did. Don't make a sequel series and focus it on the children of the main characters and still have the main characters be alive. That's why the Inuyasha sequel didn't work for me. It's like the main character's still alive and we're just not going to focus on them. But why? Like, why do we, why are the kids dealing with this? And then you have a convoluted, convoluted reason as to why the original main character, like why, why isn't the, the main character doing this? Oh, because this happened? That's, that doesn't make any sense. Why is that happening? It's, it's just like that. You run into issues. Like, you run into those issues. So just don't do it. Right? Just stay away from doing a sequel series in the same universe in a similar time period as the main character and have the main character be around. Right? Don't do that. Not like don't do that uh when did all my uh, fight all for one in the manga around 98 was it around 98 oh chapter is this 90 this is chapter 90 and this is Cha well, chapter 90 is when all might f gets there right this is before um they get bakugo out of there like bakugo still there that's chapter 90 when All Might first lands and flies in and everyone's like, ah, and, and they're both like throwing each other around, like off one to throw All Might that way, All Might to throw him this way. Yeah, because this is when, when they catch him. So 90. 90 is when their, their skirmish starts. What chapter is this right here? Um, 90, chapter 90. Chapter 91 is when All Might grabs Gran Torino. Like he does the Gran Torino and then punches. So 91, 90 and 91. They need both off one and All Might and Shiggy to get a volume each. I would love it if that were the case. That's why with the statement they said, the statement they said was, um, yeah, man, this is when I fell in love with my hero, by the way, this fight is when I fell in love with it. I liked my hero up until this point, but this fight, the all might versus all for one fight is when I was like, dude, I'm in love with this freaking series. Literally. It's freaking incredible. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, The statement that was said, they said that volume 40 would be the climax. What I take by that is by volume 40, there's only going to be one battlefield. That's that's my guess. That's. I don't think it means we have that many chapters left. My guess is there's one battlefield by the time we get to volume 40. So within these next 15, 16, 17 chapters, 
there's only going to be there's going to be the final battlefield that is my guess and then we'll ride that to the end that that's what i'm guessing first started watching my hero when season three was airing and reading the manga when 306 was released really so that was that was right 306 that wasn't long ago wow that wasn't long ago at all because 300 was the um hellish todoroki family so 306 was when deku left that's when deku left right yeah Wow, that's not that's not too long ago. That's like that's around the time I started reacting to it because I started reacting to it during the war 274 if I'm not mistaken. I want to say 274 is the, the first reaction I did and it was um the start of Shigaraki versus Endeavor after you decayed everything. That was the first thing I did. Second chapter, that's the second chapter I did. First chapter was the chapter before that. Because I didn't know how to make thumbnails. So I just took a, a picture of Shigaraki from Google and put like chapter three, whatever. And then the next week I did a panel and then I. Yeah, so. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. It was spring. That was that was airing in like spring, summertime. Those chapters were coming out. I remember. <laughs> it was like springish or summertime when that when those came out. Yeah, my hero is, I think why I hold my hero so close is because it's the first series in my lifetime that I knew about before it came out and was like, I want to read that. And then it came out and I was like, yeah, I like it. I've been, I've been into like. My hero's been a thing for me since before it came out. I remember when it was like, oh, there's a series coming out. My hero. Same thing happened with Dr. Stone where I'm like, man, I should read that. And then it came out and I just didn't read it. And then I watched the anime and I'm like, yeah, I love Dr. Stone. I know I always knew there was something about this series, but um, it's the same thing. I had read. I read all the way up until. So I read it from start to about chapter 32. I want to say it was chapter 30. I want to say it was chapter 30. I'll see if my memory serves me correctly. Let's say 32. It's chapter 32, which was Shoto and Momo versus Aizawa for their test. I want to say that was chapter 32. It was around that area. I want to say it was around there. Could be wrong. No, this was the sports festival. So it was earlier than that. So I wonder what chapter it was. I thought it was 30. <laughs> huh. No, was that after? Was there stuff after? That was after the. Was there exam things that they did with all the independent teachers? It was after the sports festival, right? It was after the, so I've, re I've read past the sports festival then. Because I remember stopping with, it was Shoto and Momo versus Aizawa. That was their test. That's where I stopped reading. Because it, you, cause my hero used to come out, it was, the chapter would come out. It was Tuesdays, then it changed to Thursdays. It like the days would flip around so many times, like which day you would get the chapter on. And I'd stop reading when they were like, oh, the anime is coming out. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll watch the anime. Right. I'll, I'll see like where the anime is going to end. And I'll I'll um, I'll do that. And I watched the anime and I was like, oh, man, like I really do like this series. It's pretty cool. And then I picked up and kept reading from there. And then I caught back up. And when I caught back up, I was just going week to week. And it was the, it was this, it was literally this volume, volume 11, like chapter 90 something when I fell in love with it. And I was like, oh yeah. I was like, oh yeah. 
I'm like spreading the My Hero gospel all over. Like, read this series. It's great. You should watch it. So, yeah. Like, my, I've been tapped into My Hero since the start. Freaking love it. It's like, it's weird. When, when I like things, like, if I like something, even in its flaws, I still like it. So it's like they're uh, like I'll talk to people and they'll express like things they don't like. And I'm like, I understand it. Like, I get why you don't like it. But I was like, that doesn't bother me. And it's like one of those weird things where something will bother me in another series. But if my hero does it, I'm cool because I like my hero. It's like the same thing with Dragon Ball. That's why I'll never argue Dragon Ball with nobody. I'll never like officially put Dragon Ball in my rankings. I feel like when my hero ends, depending on how the ending is, I can't even say that. I hate the ending of Dragon Ball, but even regardless of the ending i feel like i'm gonna have to like take my hero out of like my rankings of how i like stuff because i irrationally like it like i just there's dragon ball could do a ton wrong and you could hate it as much as you want to you'll I, it'll never par, it'll never parse my lips i'll never say it I, i'm irrational about it it's just like yeah you make a ton of sense but i i just don't care like I'm at that point now with my hero, I feel like. So I just I kinda don't care if you don't like it. That's I'm terrible terrible conversation, but yeah, <laughs> that's how I am now. It's it's really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 the same way. If I really enjoy a series, it could be terrible writing and I'm still gonna watch it. And it's not gonna really bother me. I might say I might say how much it like displeases me, but will I stop? No. And I'm never and I'm never going to dunk on it. Right. I'm not going to join people that hate it and talk about how much I don't like something with them because I don't share the same sentiments as you. I'm just talking as a fan will like better writing. You're talking like you hate it. Two different things. We're coming from two different places. So I won't even like involve myself. So I was like, I don't hop on like the Internet or Twitter about my hero because you'll if you just speak your displeasure, you might you might bring the wrong people in right right you might bring might attract the wrong people and then now whenever you say something good about it they're like oh what and it's just like no bro i just didn't like that one part i don't hate the series and then now they be calling you they'll call you like a flip-flop or you're inconsistent like you can't criticize something and still enjoy it it's weird we live in like we now live in a time where something is either good or bad. It just can't be okay. It can't be good. It can't be good and have bad moments. It can't be bad and have good moments. It's like cut it out. <sighs> it's like not everything is. You don't have to deal with everything in absolutes. You don't really watch a series and sit there and say that's good writing. Just enjoying it. Now, there's I've I've caught myself recently with the Lo, the Superman and Lois show. Um. Oh, I just did it like last week i was watching a show or an anime what was i watching and i was like dude that's good writing bro it, it, like it was so good i was like it was so good that it, it like it pulled me out i'm like that was incredible writing what the heck like the superman Loa show did that to me in the second season where i'm like dude what the hell i'm like bro i kind of i thought i was watching someone's therapy session that's how good this actress did and how the good the writing was i was like it's like dude i felt like i was watching i felt like i was like watching something i wasn't supposed to be watching like i somehow was eavesdropping on this lady's therapy session i'm like she had she was she had me in my feelings i'm like damn i i'm i if i remember what it is i'll definitely put it in here but i was while i was watching an anime like last week and i was like dude that's good writing bro <laughs> it's like that's damn good writing it completely caught me off guard i was like i really don't do that either usually if i'm just watching something i'm watching it and the writing's doing a good job engaging me but it just i was like this is some good writing boy hi 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 all right what time is it i'm killing time i gotta do zom 100 so i'm gonna call it here thank you guys i appreciate you does it say next week for a chapter hold on yep new chapter in seven days so have a good one. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. I recently want, read my dear self when that was off the plot. Not of plot to say. Such a good read, okay. <laughs>
All right, I'm going to call it here. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Have a good rest of your week coming up. And hopefully, God willing, I see you guys right back here for 395. Where are we going next? If I had to make a guess what battlefield we're touching next. We might see Aoyama. I think, I think they have to show us a panel or two of Deku and Shigaraki. They have to just show us. Just a panel or two. And then we could either go to Sero or Aoyama. I want to see All Might. I want to see All Might. But I think you say I think you save that because I would run all the All Might and All for One fight directly into the Deku and Shigaraki fight. And that sets the stage for the finale of the series. So I would try to get everything out of the way right now. So so yeah. That's what that's, I would probably go Aoyama or Sero and then do All Might All for One leading into Deku versus Shigaraki. For the finale that's what i would do so thank you guys again i appreciate you again and i'll see you peace out